Here we have a 77 years old male patient who presented with uh, syncope as symptoms. The echo duplex scanning showed a severe bilateral internal carotid stenosis. The patient has uh, also an ischemic cardiomyopathy with ejection fraction of 40%. He has a history of multiple coronary stenting. He is hypertensive, diabetes type 2, and former smoker. We propose to this patient the stenting approach. This case is complex because there are two lesions on the left internal carotid and on the right internal carotid. So in the left internal carotid, we see the aliasing in color Doppler, like on the image, and in pulse Doppler, it confirmed that it's a severe stenosis because the peak of systolic velocity is about 4 meters per second. This is the right internal carotid, so you see the same aliasing, and with a peak of systolic velocity, about 4.8 8 meters per second demonstrate that the severity of this stenosis is higher than in the left side. So as you can see here, the patient has a type 3 aortic arch. The patient has a bilateral carotid stenosis, severe ones, uh, more than 90% on the right internal carotid artery and around 80% on the left internal carotid artery. These lesions are asymptomatic, but uh, in our intention now is to treat the most severe one, which is the right internal carotid artery. As you know, in type 3 aortic arch, to address uh, carotid artery, the 10 steps exchange technique or the five steps Telescopic technique with uh, shuttle long sheet from Cook is uh, usually used. To avoid these uh, long and annoying techniques, we will uh, address the access to the carotid artery with a new guiding catheter, specially designed to fit elongated aortic arches in uh, type 2B and 3. It is a single step access to the carotid. This guiding catheter is an eight French guiding. We go up on uh, a Terumu soft wire 0 0.35. Okay, here we are just below the brachiocephalic trunk. And as you can see, very, very easily, the guiding catheters enter in a single step the brachiocephalic trunk. and it is well oriented to the carotid root. And here we can see this very severe tight lesion of uh, the internal carotid artery. So here's an intracranial view. So to treat this lesion, we are going to take the cordless solution for carotid artery stenosis. We'll start with uh, the 5 millimeter angiocard filter. And after, we'll put a precise stent. The patient received at the beginning of the procedure 5,000 units of heparin and 500 milligrams of aspirin. Here we have the preparation of the angioguard filter. We chase the bubbles. We pull back on the wire to engage the filter into its sheet. Okay, the filter is ready now.
trying to cross the lesion. It crosses easily. Okay. And now we'll deploy the filter. It's a peel away. The filter is deployed now. Here's a 3 O balloon. The 3 O is inflated to eight atmospheres. 10 seconds. Okay. Chasing the bubbles. Okay. So here we see the stent coming up across the aortic arch tortuosity. You see that the guiding is offering a good backup support and stability. The stent is coming up very gently. Crossing the lesion. I think the position is good. And now we'll deploy the stent. Starts to open. Okay. It's fully open now. And the patient will receive 0 0.5 milligrams of atropine. So here's a post dilatation balloon, a 5O. 10 atmosphere with a 5O balloon, 10 seconds of inflation. The hemodynamic of the patient is uh, stable. We have, uh, as you can notice, we have a 20% residual stenosis. Of course, we can improve this result by putting a 5.5 or a 6 millimeter balloon, but I prefer not to be aggressive on this type of stenosis, so we'll leave it like this as the stent will continue to open by itself. Here we have the retrieval sheath. It is coming across the guiding, stays stable, very good backup. Capturing the filter. and withdrawing everything. Très bien. Nothing is missing. After the procedure, you see that the stent is well expanded in the internal right carotid artery, in longitudinal axis 2, without hematome, 
and you see in Doppler color that the flow is all inside a stent. When we put some pulse Doppler, you will see that the flow is strictly normal, confirm the excellent result of the procedure.